love Vegas. I love the the nice restaurants, the nice entertainment, the, the clubs here. Everything is uh, really uh, how I want to live my life. When we sat down to to plan this and reveal probably the worst kept secret in the poker world that never Chad would would uh, sign on to the Team Labrooks, we we. We came to the conclusion that World Series of Poker is is the time to do so, because just like Jesse was um, telling you about, we've we've been here for a long, long time. Um, we've we've sent 120 players this year. It feels really good to be you know part of something, to be working with a team against something. So uh, I like the feeling of it. <laughs> Here in the Labrooks Lounge at Las Vegas, um, where I'm lucky enough to to be with the new Labrook sponsored pro, Jonas Danielson. Uh, I believe you've been here a few weeks, uh, Jonas. How's it been going so far? Came here early. That's correct. Uh, in the end of May, and I've been playing a lot of tournaments. Uh, started off good with three cashes in five events. Started out playing poker uh, <coughs> when I played a lot of. Uh, you, uh, in the beginning, I played a lot of seating goes in tournaments, but. Uh, guys you looked for and kind of uh, thought it was cool to be on the same table with was Scully and uh, Roy the Boy uh, because th those guys were always doing well in the tournament so it was pretty cool to be at just the same table that on online and uh, Poker Girl were playing the high stakes back then 2550 with the their red and that was pretty cool to watch so it's pretty cool to be uh, a member of the team now uh, because they, they were kind of like inspirations or you know role models for me. I think it's fair to say you're probably one of the most consistent online winners at cash games. Um, are you new to tournaments? Is this pretty new to you? Yeah, that's a pretty new experience. I've been playing some. I played actually my first live tournament for like four years ago, but I haven't been playing in so consistently. So. Uh, I think I have uh, quite a much to learn. I think the European players have a, a higher standard. Uh, right. I think they're a little bit more loose and a little bit more aggressive than the American players. Basically, I think European players are tougher than the American players. 